Hey everybody, it's Dr. Marshall Lemoyne with the Clinical Pattern Recognition Team. And I have Jeff here and today for Mentoring Minutes we'll be talking about chronic low back pain as far as well as hip mobility and then the coordination between the two. Um, a couple articles that, we've, that we'll talk about is patients with chronic low back pain exhibit limited external rotation hip mobility. Right? We'll kind of put this together as we go. So studies show that they have chronic low back pain, they have limited hip external rotation. That's kind of a correlation. Another study that we'll talk about is that patients with chronic low back pain, when they actively move into internal rotation or external rotation, they have early and excessive lumbo-pelvic rotation and movement compared to controls that don't have low back pain. So far, limited mobility, excessive movement here during active testing, okay? so it helps us kind of maybe think about what are risk factors for patients or training, and then lastly, if we can treat these people, if we recognize this, another study took patients and gave them regular PT without identifying a rotational component to it versus those that they identified this and they said, you know, we're going to give you specific treatment to change this motor control program. So teaching them to just internally and externally rotate their hip while keeping their abdominals tight, their hands on their pelvis to kind of monitor if they have a lot of movement or not. Significant improvement in pain and function if they were paired into this group that got specific treatment for this rotational fault. So recap, correlation between limited hip mobility and low back pain, correlation between active range of motion and excessive lumbo-pelvic rotation and chronic low back pain versus controls. Then lastly for treatment, specific treatment to train that, change it, led to significant improvements in pain and function. Thanks again guys and we'll see you next time for Mentoring Minutes.